Season 7 is right around the corner, guys, and today I'd like to show you more of my EA Game Changers Early Access Session, which is going to involve more of the hover cars' aerobatic insanity, point out a little secret, and review the up-and-coming Battle Pass in Apex Legends, and I think, it, I think I say this in every season, actually, but the Battle Pass, it's definitely the best one yet, and when you see it, you'll understand why, but that's not why you clicked on this video. No, you wanted to see that trident fly, and fly it will. You can make it's it, like I swear. Game. It's like watching a Fast and the Furious film, dude. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Should we try oh, it with jump dear. pads? See if you can make it across. <laughs> you got an octane pad? Yeah, dude. You know what's the plus side of this map? I don't think the zones are going to be as bad. Go for it, go for it. the map has a lot of uh, open <laughs> space. Dude! Uh, yes! Yeah, dude. Oh <laughs> my god, just barely, dude. Yesterday, when you were on that point right there, Jenks, on, I don't know if you can see my ping there. <gasps> Oh, uh, you, were, you were top of the building, Son of a but there's like three or four rotations to get out of there. <laughs> no yeah, way. Dude. Yeah. yeah, there's so many. We were pinched, but we had places to go, you know? By the way, Rekte, we're not going to ignore the fact that you just punched me off the map. <laughs> <laughs> hey! No boost. We'll do it. Oh, oh my, we're doing it. Oh, oh Wait, no. the jump pad works. Hey, yeah, oh, oh. Jump pad. it actually bounced off the jump pad. Dude. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I didn't think the jump pad oh, would work either. Let's go, rank tag. Let's going, go. Boy. We're going. We're, style, going. Baby. we're gonna do <laughs> Oh my, I was way too close. <laughs> oh no, it was way too close for comfort. I thought we were dead. <laughs> Okay, I didn't make it. <laughs> we don't need it when we have the jump pad. This is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over, dude. This is like a little pop. A little pop. All right, listen, Rectech. I have trust issues now. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> we're, totally we're totally dying, aren't we? I'm sorry, man. We're totally dying. <laughs> You're going down. Oh, oh wait. Wait, <laughs> wait what? Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Just Star, I can get my hands on. I have one here if you guys need it. <gasps> I can drop yeah, it. Yeah, just start stock, just stockpile them. Dude, rock damage. Oh, I see it now. Yes, the rock damage is real, and other players can bear witness to the unfortunate decisions of the hover car pilot. So if you stick around, let me show you now what I really love about the battle pass, and later on in the video, I'm going to show you a secret as well. I mean, well, Chicken Man showed me a secret that I think you'll enjoy, and Janks actually tried to guide me to it, but let's just say I managed to make a complete mess of it. But first, let's take a look at all the cosmetic goodness, and for the first time in a season, I have found something that I want to acquire more than the weapons and legend skins, and that is the skydiving emotes, which are straight up awesome. But we'll get to that. Your first batch of goodness, as always, comes in the form of a cluster of skins, but this time we get the tantalizing Prowler skin that unfortunately will not be in your hands as often as you'd like. And that's because it has been locked into the care package. And I can almost hear the faint sounds of Jelly crying as I say these words, because if you only knew how many times I've been shouted at for not pinging a select fire for... Anyway, and when this bad boy is in your hands, it's going to feel like you're handling the weapon of an advanced civilization. You also get three other skins for the legends in... We've got Horizon, Revenant and Bloodhound all of which will fall under the rare category, but as I looked over them, I just kept thinking over and over how clean they look. And it makes me wonder if the devs had a different name in mind for Bloodhound and just said, yeah, polished. I cannot get over how much I am impressed by this one, and it's safe to say I'll be equipping that for sure. The reason it stands out so much is that if you look at some of the other skins in the game, there is a subtle weathering and shading in the colours that makes each legend look battle-hardened. Now, the themes of the weapon skins themselves, there's a lot with angles on them via the shapes within, uh, creates this kind of sense of sharpness, like they're ahead of the curve in both design and battle prowess, which I really like, especially the subtle anger emanating from the G7 Scout. It's angry because deep down it knows I'm never going to get a legitimate kill with it. Something we've all been waiting for is another legendary skin for Wraith, because as you all know, she hasn't had any in such a long time. It's been at least a week. The thing I love about this skin is that it has the striking power of the attire that you might remember from films like The Fifth Element, uh, Equilibrium with Christian Bale, those folds of red and black leather, they go up towards the collar, those just ooze extravagance to me. And of course there is the something about Mary hairstyle that is definitely a prominent extension of what I mentioned 
with those shapes at the top of the jacket. And if you're wondering why I've got such an eye for these details, um, I spent a fair bit of time around fashion designers in my 20s while thinking that opera was my life goal anyway. Now that I've qualified my knowledge, those sparkling floaty bits on her arm are pure dead brilliant. Now the charms, and the, I mean they're charms, and the sprays are the sprays and the frames are the frames. I think they're all pretty decent as far as those things go, but I must confess I don't care about them. I care about this. Octane's butt surgery was unsuccessful, but what an amazing skin this is. Showing a bit of flesh with the coat draped over his left side adds a touch of the practical, so he can continue stimming himself across the map. Shiny golden legs with slicked back hair, the man is ready to run. By the way, art department, if you're watching, stroke of genius with the hair colour tying into the left shoulder and the belt. The accessorising is real. And thank you for doing it properly, unlike a game that I'm not going to mention that rhymes with Smoverwatch. Now let's talk about the skydiving emotes and something you might be asking is, um, is Horizon batting a ball off of Newt? Yes. Yes she is and Newt is hitting it back. Actually, this is a terrible idea. I'm going to be watching these animations, hypnotized by them, all the way down until I land in my face without a clue where anyone is. Another one exploding with cuteness is Watson with the Nessie, and I have to say, this is my personal favourite. Seeing how happy that little thing makes her, but you will also be treated to the Raven's Revenge, which, as many of you may remember, Pathfinder had an emote where he splats a squawk into oblivion, but the family members did not forget, and they spin his evil head all the way around. Next season, maybe they will be successful and peck out that sorry excuse of a screen for a face and fly off with it. Gibraltar also plays a merry little tune for us and Rampart Air surfs on her barriers. Both of those things, I think, look awesome. There's also loading screens that are quite well drawn and they're going to give you something to... <laughs> the top tier rewards, should you make it to level 100 and 110 respectively, are the R99 skins, Cutting Edge and Revolutionary. Both of these are stunning. I love them and the design truly does look like they've been crafted from the carapace of an alien. I cannot wait to unleash these upon the walls of Olympus to see if anything else is destructible. Anyway, I skipped over a few things, but you know, there are some very nice rare weapon skins to look out for. So plenty of reasons to get the battle pass, I know I definitely will. And finally, thank you for being so patient, here's a little secret for you. Oh, did you see the secret Nessies, Ragtag? No, 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 I didn't see them. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, let me get in that. That's just crazy. Our pillows well, are going shopping. Hold on. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. It's hollow, it's hollow, so you have to land on the edge, okay, Reg? All right. You're gonna land up there, but you have to like land on the ledge. It's hollow inside. Oh no. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Can we not open the door? Right on the edge. There you go. Boom. No! No! <laughs> oh, hold on. I can get, I can get to his zip line. I can get to his zip line. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's so crazy. I right bounced. Now. Be careful when you get up here. Oh <laughs> shoot! Hold on. Let me get up there. He's gonna fly right in the middle. No! I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you don't got me! <laughs> big brain, big brain, I got you. Are you serious? You, don't worry. I don't even know anymore now. Oh, the portal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. Yo, that's Just trippy. Flying right in like that. And then the Nessies are on the other side of the portal. Yeah, I saw them. I got a portal here, whoever's out by the rope, the rampart. If you I'm don't here. Need it. I kind of can't go back up anymore. It kind of just blew all my time. <laughs> yeah, it blew all my time too. I'll get another zip up here in a minute. I don't know how the game treats it like a mobile rev totem or an actual like, oh, hey, this is like a Caustic old or a Gibraltar old. Whoever's got Horizon, we should go in the test range and test that because that's like good info for a video. Oh. I don't want to talk about it, right? <laughs> it's been a long day. Oh my god. <laughs>